So here I've got uh, two piece rings rigged up with a single solid lapping bar. And you can see they do get stronger. Uh, virtually almost double the strength, which would make sense, you know, if I left right, down, up. Um, sorry, hard to hold the camera still when I'm doing this, but you see where before with this amount of pressure on a single ring, you know, I could get four or five thou. You know, it, it's not, I'm just using a rough guess with my hands, but it's roughly the same amount of pressure I was applying before. So I'm getting about half that, right around two thou in any direction of movement. Um, you know, obviously where you contact that <clears throat> can make a difference. So, um, but yeah, there's no doubt they get stronger together. The difference is that, you know, you're using the tube of the scope to make the mount stronger. The mount itself isn't technically stronger. You know, the, the scope tube makes it stronger. So, and that's a steel bar, you know. I'm not going to go wrenching on actual scope in the rings. That, that'd just be stupid. But, uh, you know, the steel bar is obviously going to be a lot stronger than a scope body. So, um, just different tests I do. Now, I don't do these tests all the time. Mainly, you know, I know how strong a lot of, you know, rings and, uh, you know, six screw are going to be stronger than four screw. Four screw are going to be stronger than, you know, cheap Walmart two screw. I mean, well, I think it, I mean, you might as well not even mount a scope with those, but you know what I mean? So, you know, usually I'll mount them up. I, I check alignment, um, you know, and when I have my alignment bars in there, I'll torque them around, make sure I'm getting good contact, not moving too much. So, anyhow, that's it. Thanks.